sugar pie, honey bunch. You know that I love you. I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. In and out my life, you come and you go. Leaving just your picture behind. And I kiss it a thousand times. Ooh, when you snap your finger or wink your eye, I come running to you. Now I'm tied to your apron string. And there's nothing that I can do. Ooh, won't tell you. I can't help myself. No, I can't help myself. Ooh, still a pie, honey, but I'm weaker than a girl should be. I can't help myself. I love Julie, love you, see. Tell you I love you, tell you that it's true. And I try, but every time I see your face, I get all choked up inside. Ooh, when I call your name, boy, it starts to blame. Burning in my heart, tearing it all apart. No matter how I try, my love I can I have. Call sugar pie, honey, but you know that I lay for you. I can't help myself. I don't love you and nobody else. Ooh, sugar pie, honey, but. Anything you ask me to, I can't help myself. I love you and nobody else. Ooh, sugar pie, honey bun. You know that I love you. I can't help myself. I want, I can't help myself. Ooh, sugar pie, honey bun. Just, uh, I'm sitting here in the studio with uh, Terrence Stubblicious <laughs> and uh, and uh, Thelma Stubbs and uh, Sheila was here. Uh, it reminds me that the amount of talent in the city of Detroit that uh, that Barry Gordy put together is just unbelievable. If you think about it, uh, I mean, um, what's the guy's name from Atlantic Records? Uh, Ahmed Erdogan. Uh, 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 er, what's his name Am again? Ahmed Erdogan. Ahmed Erdogan. Sort of is similar in that uh, he uh, he strived to get the talent. He strived to get the talent. And the, the musicians, the Funk Brothers, I remember going backstage and uh, meeting uh, Uriel Jones, mm -hmm. uh, and I forget who the guy, the uh, the guy that uh, uh, shook the uh, tambourines. Um, uh -huh. I forget his name. And uh, the the guitar guy that uh, played uh, on the Soupy Sale Show. Uh, the 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 talent with these guys, uh, and and locked up in the studio. Yeah, they would go out on gigs. You know they would they would go out and they would play other places to, to make a living too, but uh, and the studio, that garage studio, that would work 24 hours a day, night and day. So I'm cranking. Up. There was a song done by uh, Smokey uh, Robinson with the Miracles called "Shop Around." Mm -hmm. Three in the morning, they they cut the song. They even they even pressed it, and at three in the morning. Uh, the phone rings at Smokey's house. Who's calling him? Barry Gordy. He's at Motown Records, 3 in the morning. He was listening to the song and says, man, this is this one, man, you got to come back into the studio. Mm -hmm. Smokey looks at his clock and says, Barry, it's 3 in the morning. And Barry says to him, you got anything better to do? Mm -hmm. Just like that. 
you got to wow. come back and re-record the song. Wow. They were they were perfectionists at their you know at the at their vocation, mm -hmm. and they would get together with meetings on Friday. Barry would lock everybody in a room, who was anybody, and uh, and say, "Is this good enough to press it?" And one time, Smokey got locked out and begged to get in. Of course, Barry would let him in. Mm. So, Shop Around, the song we know, is actually the second version mm -hmm. of, of, the, of the song. Mm -hmm. And became number two, you know, after uh, Money, became number two uh, on the Motown hit list. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, of course, uh, the Marvelettes, um, Please Mr. Postman, and Robert Bateman had a lot to do with that, became number three. But here he calls up Smokey at 3 in the morning. He says, man, you got to come back. I've already assembled the musicians. Okay. He couldn't find the pianist that played. So guess who played piano on, on the national version of Chaparral? Barry. Mm, plays, wow. plays the piano on that, on that wow. song. Mm. And so uh, they, they were perfectionists at their trade. They, you know, can you imagine? What? Three in the morning to get a call. You got to come. To, you got anything better to do? Yeah, you had to work like that. Parents would do it. <laughs> you had to work like that. Round the clock. Uh, That's so, the way it is. So, I mean, to me, it's it's interesting historically that uh, that uh, you know. And I met Smokey. He he's a very sort of diminutive guy. He's not a tall guy. Very slender fellow. But the the uh, talent. He just oozed talent. The songs he would yeah. He and then Holland Dozier and Holland made Motown. Yeah. When you went, when you went down the list of uh, guests we've had on the show, we forgot uh, Bobby Rogers. Uh, oh, Bobby Rogers. Yeah, yeah. he was a great guest yeah. we had him on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Jack Ryan brought in Joe Billingsley and Sylvester Potts into our old studio. Mm -hmm. So I'd come out to greet them, right? Bobby Rogers is walking right behind Jack Ryan. And Jack Ryan says to me, by the way, you don't mind if I bring Bobby Rogers into the show, do you? <laughs> I laughed at him and I said, thank you. <laughs> you know, I mean, they, these people are just icons of, of their business. There's just no other way to describe it. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, I mean, to have Martha Reeves in the studio and to listen to her singing and, and, and the people and the context. She's been all over the world. You know, one thing Barry Gordy did, he made people famous. Yeah. 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 He didn't pay him a lot, but made people famous. Yeah. Uh, the guy, uh, Paul Reiser. Oh, Paul Reiser, yeah. Yeah, we give a shout out to Paul Reiser. He was their ranger. Mm -hmm. Him and Johnny Allen. Yes. Yeah. So, Johnny Allen's about 80 he's almost 90, right yeah. yeah. Yeah, Johnny Allen, great and, uh, guy. Paul watches all for him a lot right now. He's a little ill, but um, shout out to both of them. Great guy. You're, you're, all the fun brothers. Your job, Mr. Sorry. Phelps, if you want to take on this role, bring those guys in. People into the studio. Ooh, uh, we probably could get Paul. I'm sure. Definitely. And uh, he probably wouldn't mind bringing uh, Mr. Allen with him mm -hmm. if he's feeling well. Uh, this is mm -hmm. just. Uh, you know, and, and, you know, I grew up in the backyard of Motown. Didn't know anything what was going on behind the scenes. All we heard was the songs like Sugar Pie Honey Bunch. You know, you go to some bunch of kids get together, they're dancing up a storm. Mm -hmm. We loved the music. That's all we knew. But we didn't know the stories behind the music. And the stories behind the music are just as important to me as the music. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and, uh, I've got, you know, I've got a lot of original 45s, and all. I love my Motown stuff, mm -hmm. you know, instead of Walt, you know, the Motown record. Everybody yeah. loves Motown. Yeah. Yeah. What did you know about the Isley movie? Um, Auntie was just talking about the Isley Brothers with Shout and all of that. That was Motown. I know. Wow. And, you know, they wouldn't put their picture on the cover. Barry Gordy was very clever because of the racial... Uh, Tensity at that time, mm -hmm. and the pictures are not on the cover. Well, it just uh, you know Barry Gordy, genius, and it shot right to the top. The guy wow. is a genius. There's no that there. song now. You can't do a party or oh, a Oh my goodness! Everywhere we go, shop. we have to do shop. Yeah, yeah. 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 
you, you put on Sugar Pie Honey Bunch and you hear Levi. Oh, yeah. You just close your eyes and it just... Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of singers that are like that. Uh, Charlie Thomas from The Drifters. Mm. When he does... Uh, uh, one of the, the, the drifter song. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, well, stop getting you down. Right. Oh, yeah. And it just uh, under the oh, boardwalk. Yeah. You just, it yeah. just, it just, it just it don't get no better. Oh. No. And and Levi was like that. Yeah, he was. He was, he was the greatest to me. And uh, I had a chance actually to meet him one time. There was a party. There was a Motown party. Yeah. There was a Motown. He was in a wheelchair. Oh wow. There was a Motown party, and I got wind of it. Uh, Bob Bateman said you got to come, and uh, David Washington and I went to, to that uh, to that thing. They had it at uh, Rooster Tail, right? Mm. And, uh, and uh, Aretha Franklin yeah. was there. She was singing with them. Anybody who was anybody from Motown was there. This was sort of like a tribute to Levi. Mm. Yeah. And uh, and I just stood there, mm. and just in awe, and, and that was just unbelievable. Uh, was at the time he sang uh, I believe in you and me and I know when he passed away you called me and you said I shed a tear he said don't mind shed a tear for your brother um, I, 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 he was in a wheelchair he had a, he had a stroke and yeah. he, just, he couldn't uh, talk but nope. he knew what was going on yep. and uh, it just uh, yeah, Aretha had a uh, thing with him and he did get a couple notes out I she she had mean, two bodyguards around her. Yeah. Aretha did. I couldn't get. I couldn't get uh, close. Mm-hmm. She. She was. Uh, I mean, you know, the the mm-hmm. the people that were trying to get to her. Just too many people. So she had bodyguards. Around. Mm-hmm. But the the talent that was in that room, mm-hmm. unbelievable. You know, I wish I had a tape recorder run around and just to talk to everybody. <laughs> so it was nice. Okay. So let's go to. Uh,